Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a collective haul for you guys. I have some bits from Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Zara, and ASOS for you guys. Before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram because that is where I post daily outfit inspirations on there. So if you need any help, you can check over on my Instagram. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so we are starting off with the bits from Fashion Nova. So I didn't really get much, but I got these pair of joggers that I saw that I really like. They have a little bit of a ruching, but I got these in a 1X. Now, usually in Fashion Nova, I wear a 1X in their jeans just because their stuff runs really small and I never find it like true to size. So I always go up like two sizes in my normal size. So for reference, I am 5'5 five, five, and I wear about a size 12, 14 or 16 depending on the cut. I don't even look at the sizes anymore. It just it really doesn't matter anymore But I, I got these in the mail. I was so excited. I'm like, yeah Woo, I'm so excited for these Let me just show you the bottom guys look at the bottom <laughs> Look at the bottom <laughs> Look at the bottom Look at the bottom. Who is this for? Who is this for? No, what the hell? My whole foot is covered like it's huge it's like really big on me it doesn't it's kind of bunchy it doesn't look that great so i was like well what am i gonna do because i really want to wear these i really like the ruching i see the vibes that this is going for so i was like all right i gotta i gotta get my size so i did end up getting them in my size which is a large i don't know why i didn't get my normal size which is a large i don't know what i was thinking when I was getting these. However, got them in my size, but I have a bit of a camel toe now. Like, it's like giving me camel in the front. Um, and this is what it looks like in the back. So I feel like it's a little bit flattering on the back, but I always wear like stuff like this that's like kind of like tight. I always cover my crotch because for reasons like this, we don't need to be seeing camel toe. Sorry, but this is giving me real camel toe up in here. Like, I can feel it just cinching up in there. So, but I really like them. So I have an idea of how I'm gonna style this up, but they are still very long. I don't know why they make this very long. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be the style of it, that it's supposed to be really like bunchy at the bottom, but they are still very long. Not as long as the first pair, but they are still very long. But can you see the vibes? Like, I think I might have to get them taken in at the bottom because they are, oops, they are a little bit long at the bottom. And then I also picked up these really cool socks that say, I don't give up, I don't give up, I don't give up. So I thought these were so cute because you know me, I love a good sock. So I just thought these were just super cute to have. Okay, and the last thing I got from Fashion Nova wear a cute pair of pajamas. I love Fashion Nova's pajamas. I actually have one pair of Fashion Nova pajamas already and I really like them. I think the quality, the quality of it is like really soft. This is so soft, but this is also I find really cute because it's kind of festive. It's a little bit of Christmassy vibes. So I just thought it was really cute. I got this in an extra large and I believe this was under $20. So if you're looking for some cute, fun pajamas, Go to Fashion Nova because they have some really cute pajamas on there and yeah I really like it um, it comes as a set so I just got an extra large and she's cute and she's ready for bed so so cute so now we're moving on to pretty little thing this is the only pretty little thing item that I picked up it is these long straight wide leg jeans with a little bit of a little rip um, so these are a the perfect dupes for the redone jeans. So the redone jeans are an investment. They're about like $500 for a pair of jeans. But these were, I believe, $30. 
for these jeans, like super, super affordable. And I absolutely love them. I paired them with a pair of Zara white booties. They are quite long, so if you can see, it like really it hits the bottom of the floor for me. So imagine me taking off the boots. They will be reaching the ground. But I really like these. I think these are so cute. And I think this is just super festive. I think these are just so cute, very comfortable. I don't like jeans, so if I am gonna get a jean, they have to be very, very comfortable. These tick all the boxes. These are so comfortable. I had to get them taken in, because I don't know what, I don't know why PLT does this, but I'll order a size, and then they'll send me the wrong size. So I was meant to get a UK 16, which is a US, I think 12 or 14, and they sent me this in a UK 20, I think it was, which is like, a U US like 16 or something like that, I can't, 16, 18, I can't even remember, but they were huge. They were huge, but I was like, I'm not returning them, I really like them, and so I just got them taken in. Um, the seamstress who did this did an amazing job, you wouldn't even know that they were tweaked, but they're so nice and so comfortable, and they just look really good on. I just think that they're just a really good, comfortable pair of jeans. So if you want the regen redone jeans but don't want the price, PLT guys, P-L-T. Okay guys, so I just switched my shoes so you can see how you can wear them with sneakers. They do give you more of that like really baggy type of look, but I still like them. I think that they're really cute. I mean, still very slouchy. So you can kind of get two different looks so if you really want that like straight leg, streamlined kind of look. But if you want to like dress it down, put on like a biker jacket and kind of just want to wear it a little bit more casual, you can also do that as well. The next pieces I have to show you are from Zara. So here I have these, they're called on the website Dad Pants. Um, and this is like so in right now wearing a pair of trousers with a pair of sneakers and I kind of really like that. It kind of like dresses it down, makes it more casual, not so professional. So I really like that. So I got these in this really kind of like stone washed gray, like stony gray type of color, which is so pretty. I absolutely love these. Super flattering, so comfortable. I got these in an extra, extra large just because Zara runs small. And these were about 50, 59, 59 bucks, but I couldn't pass them up because they are absolutely perfect. And then I also, and then I paired it with this cute crop top. I don't have a crop top in this color, and I got it in a large. This one was $19. But the material of this is a lot different than your usual like cotton crop tops. This has more of like a nice satiny feel to it. So you could always dress it up or dress it down. I thought that these two paired together would really would look really pretty. And then I have one more item that I'm gonna put over top of this crop top. So this is the other item that I picked up. This is called a knit sleeve or a sleeve warmer, whatever you wanna call it. And these are so in right now. All of the brands are kind of doing this kind of vibe right now. And I love this. This is nice and soft. It is so pretty and it's, it's very flattering on me. It has like a cuffed sleeve so it's not drapey. It just fits you really nicely. And then this is what it looks like in the back as well. And I just think it's so pretty. I think it just adds like a really cute element to like a top, especially if you're someone who gets really hot like me. This is perfect because you can get a little bit of warmth but still be cool at the same time. So I really love this. Um, they had this in black as well. And I saw that they have a new version out that kind of comes like a little bit longer. It's like in a dark gray kind of color. I thought that one was really cute too. Um, so yeah, this one was 39 bucks. I think it's like a good price. And I feel like this is something that is going to stay in for maybe like two or three seasons. I feel like it's going to be one of those pieces. But I really like this and I think it looks really cute paired together. Let, let me know what you guys think. I know these tones are a little bit off, but... Let me know what you guys think, but I feel like it will look good with like anything. And then the last item that I picked up from Zara are these rubber boots. These are everywhere on Instagram. Everybody, the mama has this boot. 
and it's so funny because when this trend came when this came out I looked at it I was like oh that's cute but nah and then I, it's obviously when I saw it on social media got influenced by the influencers um, I was like oh no I like this boot I need to get this boot so I looked for it completely out of stock and I kept checking kept checking and they brought it in my size grabbed it quickly and that was it this is these boots are $89 I don't know if they still have them on the website um, but I will link them if they are still there but they were such a good find and like a really nice boot for the season and I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of them I've also worn them on pretty cool chilly cold days in Calgary and they have been they're quite warm I'm surprised at how warm these are okay so now we're gonna move on to the items that I got from ASOS so the first item I got was this oversized striped shirt so this is from the collusion range and I know for a fact that the collusion range on ASOS always sells out I don't know why but people love the collusion range um, and it always sells out so I picked up this oversized shirt in a US 10. I was a little bit skeptical to get it in the US 10 but the US 12 and I think 14 were already sold out so I picked it up in the 10 and usually once a brand says oversized generally it is oversized and I also looked at the model wearing it she was wearing a US 4 and it looked really oversized on her so I'm like okay the 10 should probably work and it does I absolutely love this shirt it is meant to be oversized so if that's kind of your vibe then this will be, this will be perfect for you but even if you don't want an oversized fit so let's say if you are a true 10 then this will work perfectly as well but if you want to have more of that oversized fit definitely go up so it is true to size but if that's your vibe you can always go up and I love this I think it fits me really really nice and I just have it on with my Zara dad trousers and a pair of sneakers and I just thought it was just a super cute outfit to wear this would also look cute with joggers oh my god that's how i intended to wear it well I would wear it with this but also with joggers to kind of like dress it down make it more casual make it more fun um so kind of have it like that and i just love it i love the oversizedness i love the detail or the cuff on the shirt and it's just like your basic pinstripe shirt and I've always been looking for a good pinstripe shirt and this is it I found the one that I love and I funny enough I, I saw this shirt on Sophia from Sophia and Chinsia and I was like I like that shirt and I and I'm like it's probably I don't know I just kind of guess I'm like it's probably on ASOS because British people love a good ASOS so I loved it now the only thing is that if you live in Canada you do have to pay duties on your orders however because you have to pay duties on your order ASOS knows that and they give you um like a mandatory 15% off so I believe it is CA15 for a mandatory 15% off and I think it only applies by when you do like your checkout and it shows like your country and all that stuff that you get the 15% off so just keep that in mind and that's kind of just to offset the fact that you have to pay duties but uh, this order when this order came in I think I only paid 13 bucks in duties which was fine but yeah I love it I love it I'm so pleased with this purchase especially since this is my first time purchasing on ASOS I'm very happy okay so this is the second and last item from this entire haul and it is this jacket right here so it has that like faux fur lining in the inside and it's faux leather the only thing is that it makes <laughs> a lot of noise but I really like this I think this is such a cute jacket and then it comes with these little clasps what if mine is kind of coming off? I need to like sew that together. But you kind of clasp it together if you want to. And then you can cinch in the waist like so. So you have a nice cinched in jacket. Looks super cute. And then you have, oh, got another mask in here. Oh my God, masks everywhere. Um, I've already worn this jacket, so I really like it. Covers your bum. 
and I got this in a US 14 so I always go up in my winter coats I always go up a size maybe two sizes because I have broader shoulders and I just don't want things to be I don't like coats that are super fitted I just don't think it's comfortable but I like the fact that you could wear this cinched in or you can kind of just keep it open if that's something that you like but I love this coat like the day it came in I wore it or not the day it came in but like a few days after it came in I wore it because I just think it was such a beautiful coat as you can see it doesn't cover your neck so if you're someone who gets really cold and needs your neck covered then you might want to put on a scarf or wear it on occasion girl I'm as I said I run hot so this having this oh I can breathe and I'm fine so as long as my ears are covered hands are covered I'm good um, but yeah I love it love the fit love how it's a little bit oversized I love how it the sleeves are long I hate coats where the sleeves are like up here. This coat is like the perfect length and I absolutely love it. All right guys, so that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire haul. I'm pretty sure a lot of these things are on discount now because of the holiday season. So I will link everything in the description. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.